Okay, so I'm gonna be going over um, the Hasbro Pulse live stream that they did today. Did a lot of reveals um, first. They talked a little bit about um, the Black Panther Wakanda Forever wave, um, which we've seen at San Diego Comic Con, mm -hmm. um, which I'm I'm pretty excited about this wave mainly for Namor. Um, that's my main figure that I'm looking forward to out of this wave. Um, and then they went to the three pack of the um, symbiotes, which um, I mainly collect the MCU figures. Um, so I will probably be passing on this three pack. Um, but if that's um, some figures that you're interested in, I wanted to go over those and sort of just show you those real quick. Um, there's a few people that aren't too happy with them. Um, but once again, I mainly collect MCU figures um, for the most part. And um, I will not be getting this um, three pack. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. And here we have the Razorback and Human Fly figures from the um, Obscure um, Reveals, and then this is the Molten Man. Um, I, I won't be getting the Obscure figures or this Molten Man figure. Um, once again, I just wanted to show you guys in case you guys were interested in any of these figures. Um, and I'm sort of just going over all the reveals that they had um, in their live stream. Um, there's another look at the um, Molten Man next to the Razorback figure. Um, I mean, he looks okay, but I mean, once again, I am more of an MCU collector. Um, I do collect a little bit of other figures, um, mainly they're all like movie figures and things. Um, and I do collect the what if figures, um, and they do have a what if, um, or well it's a Disney Plus wave coming up, I'll show you at the end of this video, um, which I'm super excited about. Um, but let's get past this figure. And now they have, um, oh, what's this guy's name? I can't remember what this guy's name is, but um, he is gonna be part of a five pack, a Spider-Man five pack. Um, so I'll show you the, um, we'll go a little faster, there's that figure. And then that's the symbiote Spider-Man figure that they are going to be having in the five pack along with um, the other obscure figures right there. Uh, the Human Fly, I can't remember what that guy's name was, Razorback, and the Molten Man, along with the symbiote Spider-Man, which I will be passing on that as well. Um, they will be on pre-order on Amazon on the 16th of this month at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. If you guys are interested in um, that five pack, like I said, I will not be getting that five pack, but I wanted to show you guys in case you guys were interested in that um, in that five pack. Um, and then there's another view of a few views of the package. 
there's a part on his arm uh, where you can see sort of the bones and stuff coming out uh, that they talked about a little bit. Um, and I'm excited to get this figure just because I have a what if shelf and I collect a lot of the what if figures. So um, I will be adding that figure. And then there's also the Scarlet Witch zombie figure. Crazy hair. <laughs> um, I don't think she comes with another head sculpt, which I wish she did, like a normal hair for one and then this one, but she doesn't. And it looks really cool on the back with all the ripped um, cloak or the uh, ripped um, whatever that's called jacket deal. It looks really cool, and then you can see the bones in her arm. See all the uh, detailing. So, and then we also have the Red School figure from What If, which I'm not really all that excited about because it's basically the same figure that we have had before uh, from the MCU. Just, I think that school might be a little different to go with the What If version, but he wasn't even that big of a part of What If. Which he might be in the next season, I don't know. But I'm not that excited about this figure. Um, he's sort of, I can take it or leave it, which I'll probably end up getting him just because I want to build a figure. Um, and then we have Ancient Wu from WandaVision. Um, he was also in Ant Man and the Wasp. Um, this figure we did not see at San Diego Comic Con. Um, and I actually pretty excited about this figure because you can either put them with the WandaVision figures or um, you can put them with your Ant-Man figures. And he's just, I love this character. He is funny. Um, and I really like um, when they add new characters from the MCU. Um, so I am excited about this figure. Um, so now Build-A-Figure, which is the Kanju Build-A-Figure, which is so awesome. I can't wait for this Build-A-Figure. Um, he'll look awesome with the uh, Moon Knight and Mr. Knight figures. Um, I'm probably going to have a shelf just for Moon Knight and Mr. Knight and Kanju. They'll have their own separate shelf, and they have some translucent plastic under the head that makes it look like it's floating which is really cool. There's all kinds of awesome detailing. Uh, this is probably one of the best build figures they've had in a long time because um, everything's basically new on this figure and it's got a lot of detailing. Um, and it's just, it's just so awesome. And um, I think everybody's loving the, it's gonna love, um, you know, Moon Knight and Mr. Knight and this awesome Kanju build a figure. Um, there's some figures in this wave um, that they didn't show. Um, they didn't show the What If Howard the Duck um, with the um, Scott Lang severed head, which I'll probably, well, I'll probably get all this wave just because I want to build a figure. Um, figures in this wave. The only one I'm really not that excited about is the Red School figure, but I'll probably get him just because I want to build a figure. Um, but this um, wave goes up for pre-order tomorrow, um, August 11th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So keep um, your eyes out for that. I think that one is going to be on the Hasbro Pulse. I'm not exactly sure um, where all that's going to be available to pre-order, but keep, eye, keep your eyes out for that. Um, at the end of the stream, they had sort of a little teaser um, with this little figure. I absolutely have no idea what this figure is. Um, it looks like the same head sculpt, or the same like little jar deal that the Scott Lang head was in. So, but it's a little different head in there. So I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's a scroll head or something. I really don't know. I'm just 
grasping his, at straws here. Uh, but that's what they showed at the end of the video, or at the end of the um, stream. But um, thank you guys for 